Hey guys, that time again to go ahead and unbox our anime bento. In case you don't know what it is, it is a monthly subscription box with anime goodies and Japanese candies. Um, I'm excited because I'm hoping it's holiday themed since it is December, so let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? And of course, this time it wasn't actually opened beforehand, so I actually get to use the sharp pointy thing. Hopefully not, you know, gut myself or anything. Oh, there's only one. That was That's nice of them. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Ah! Well, right at the top there is, like, the wintry, we're gonna make sure you're warm sensation, plus all the other little goodies in there. Oh, look how colorful it is. And more food! So let's see, huh? Obviously, the anime bento otaku hat. So I guess that's because it's, like, you know, winter time, which is good, because it gets pretty cold here, so. That's cute. Okay, let's see. And of course, the Christmassy Moe Chan. With all the cute little thingies that we can get. And I'm gonna. Oh, Attack on Titan, air freshener. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of be surprised. Let's see. Mega Man! Got a Mega Man keychain. It's like the first thing I pulled out. Let's pull him out of this little capsule that he's in. Since I played Mega Man a lot when like I was a kid. I remember him though. It's like the red version, I guess. Unless it's like a different game. I don't I don't know. I haven't played it like since I was like literally a kid. But, oh that's cute. Let's see. Seems an anime bento uh, bracelet with Moby Chan on it. It's really cute. Good promotion, I guess, if you wanna I don't really like these bands anymore. I wore them when I was a kid. So I'm going to just put that in my little memory box. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to save these for last, but there's like... Oh, it's a red bean paste. Oh, that's kind of scary. Heard a lot of bad things. What is this? Mobile Suit Gundam. Oh, It's a blind box for a Mobile Suit Gundam. Which Gundam is it, though? It doesn't look like Wing. Build, mo mo build Model Gundam 3. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna recognize any of these because I only watched Gundam Wing when I was growing up. So, ooh, the little red guy. Wish I knew more about the Gundams, but I don't. I, it came with gum, so I guess I get a little piece of gum too. It's cool. A little piece of candy it comes with a little piece to put together. I mean, there's one that kind of looked like Gundam Wing that would have been cool to get, but I don't really know anything about the series, so I don't really care. Gundams are cool. I like mechs. Mechs are awesome. You know? Put his little stuff together. Oh, it's it's actually really, it's like a, not hard plastic, it's like silicone almost. It's pretty nice. Softer on the field than the uh, hard plastics are. Oh, he's so squat. He kind of reminds me of a racer. That's kind of what it feels like. He's got a little gun. Oh. He's really cute, though. So that's kind of, like, better than last month already right there. Okay, and this is a uh, Gintama Autumn and Winter. Uh, I'm guessing this is a show. I don't know, though. It looks like they're Halloween. Oh, I really want him. He's cute. Yeah, they're like Halloween and Christmas themed. They give a chance to get Halloween or Christmas, I guess. But they're autumn and winter, I guess. But I want the little guy in the jacket lantern. I don't know who he is, but he looks really cute. I probably won't get him because I have terrible luck with these boxes, but I, mean, I guess the snowman guy over here is pretty cute since it is Christmassy time. But yeah, there's the front and then the back if you're interested. Let's see who I get. I hope it's Mr. Jack o lantern guy. In fact, I like kind of really hope it's him because I never get things I want. Oh, I did get the Christmas girl though, the one who's eating her uh, cake. So I guess that's cool. Oh, she gets a little Santa hat too. But let's see, there she is. Oh, she's really cute though. Okay, so I got one of the two I liked. Really hoping for the jack o' lantern guy. I like. I also like Halloween a lot more than I like Christmas. So. Oh no. 
Her hat doesn't really stay on her head very well. I guess maybe when she's actually like on her display stand, it would look better. Oh, no. I'm just going to put her over here before I lose something. Uh, and here's her little stand. No candy in that one, though. No piece of gum. And I believe there's a sneak peek. Oh, they're giving us a sneak peek to next month, which is going to have a Sailor Moon neck strap. Which I'm really excited about because I fucking love Sailor Moon. Granted, I'm not a fan of Sailor Moon Crystal because they ruined it, in my opinion. Like, the animations were just terrible. But I'm excited because it won't look that bad when it's not moving, I guess. And, of course, the last actual, like, item in the box is going to be the Attack on Titan Air Freshener. And I'm at Mik Mikatsu. I can, ah, I can never pronounce her name. I feel really bad. That's strawberry scented. It's too bad I can't hang this on my window because it's, like, illegal to have them up. But it's really cool. I'll put it in the car so it'll smell good, though. Mm. Okay. Now the final thing of this is the Doriaki pancakes with red bean paste. And it comes with one of 20 collectible stickers. They actually look really cool. They look like little pancakes. It's really fun packaging. You don't really see stuff like this. Like, you see it in America, but it's not, like, big, huge cartoon character on the front with it. It's usually, like, generic box. I'm really worried about the red bean paste, though, because I've heard a lot of bad things. But I guess... You don't know until you try it, so... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, they're like... Here comes... The, here's the little collectible... Oh, it's cute. The collectible sticker comes in, like, a... Little silver... Like, container. So I'm gonna go... Do not eat, it says, on the, uh, outside. In case you are not aware, you do not want to eat him. Don't eat the sticker. I guess you could have, you'd probably have to warn people. This is going to be like really hard to open. Oh, there's a, a tear down the side. I bet you this package had one too or something, but whatever. It's a weird sticker. Like, it's not really a sticker. It's kind of... Mood Maker Orchestra. The band can play music that will make people happy or sad. And I guess this is considered a sticker. I don't know. Kind of lame. I was kind of just hoping it'd be, like, the cat or something. But I guess... They're an orchestra. Okay, they all look like they have the same face, but... Let's do this. Let's see if I like red bean paste. I don't usually like beans, so I'm kind of really worried. But see, that's the outside of the cute. It's got a little face on it and stuff. Let's, let's do this, huh? It smells like a pancake. Okay. It's really soft. Okay. I got a bit without the red bean. It just tastes pancake, which tastes really good. I'm really nervous. It's like really airy though. I like it. Okay, it's not enough of the paste. I can see it now. not think I'm a fan. It's got like a sweet flavor, but it's also like, you can kind of tell like it's not supposed to be sweet. I guess I don't know how I feel about it now. But the aftertaste isn't bad. The initial shot, it's a weird texture too. I guess I'll try another bite.
it's gross and it's not. I don't know how to explain this. Like, I really like the pancake. It tastes really good. The red bean is, it's not the worst flavor I've ever tasted in my life, but it's like a weird texture. It's got like a, feels like there's almost like apple in it. It has that like apple-y texture, which is like really weird. And I don't like it in most of my like desserts. So I guess that's probably why I don't like it. But that would be my unboxing of the Anime Bento. I will, go, of course, have another one next month. I'll have at least another three months. If you enjoyed this video, please click that subscribe button and like below. And, of course, I'll see you again next month, guys.